tender age of 16, Anna Polina Mariana Koza came under the scrutiny of the Russian government as her village's inhabitants showcased unusual abilities. Drawn by the rumors, officials journeyed to the remote village to investigate these extraordinary claims. Upon arrival, they were astounded to confirm the truth. Without any discernible explanation, Anna possessed superhuman powers, a concept beyond human comprehension. In chains, Anna Polina became a captive subjected to agonizing experiments under Professor Orlov's watchful eye and ruthless command. The dark purpose behind it all was to unlock the secrets of her cells to breed an army of replicas destined to serve as soulless foot soldiers. The shadows bore witness to her sorrowful plight as hope faded like a dying ember. In her new guise as Mrs. Jones, Anna Polina Mariana Koza led a double life as a music teacher, imparting her expertise to budding young violinists. But this day was not meant for teaching. It demanded solitude and tranquility. Gently, she lured Ethan, her devoted student, to slumber, ensuring he found peace in his dreams. Yet, behind closed doors, her heart shattered as she witnessed the relentless frenzy of the mainstream media and press hounding her beloved son, Hawk. The world knew not of her secret pain, the burden she carried, the sacrifices she made to protect her son from the prying eyes of society. In the shadows, she wept, hoping for a sanctuary where her son could find refuge and respite from the relentless storm. Hawk found himself drowning in the overwhelming attention bestowed upon him. The villagers, aware of his extraordinary abilities, particularly Mrs. Taylor and a few caring women who once tended to him as a baby, felt helpless in the face of the situation. The relentless press besieging his doorstep left him no room to breathe, leaving everyone at a loss on how to support him during this trying time. The villagers directed their fury at Diane, holding her responsible for the ensuing chaos as she leaked information about Hawk to the press and mainstream media. As a solution, they proposed relocating him to Dakota discreetly. Amidst the turmoil, Hawk caught a glimpse on television of a woman and a child standing outside his door holding a note. This sight ignited a curiosity within him and he decided to venture outside against Mrs. Taylor's wishes. Upon opening the door, Hawk was immediately swamped by the press and the mainstream media, assuming he sought their attention. However, his focus was on the agitated woman standing there with her child. She shared the heart-wrenching tale of her husband vanishing five years ago, a case long abandoned by the police due to the lack of any leads. All she yearned for was closure, to know if he was still alive or if fate had claimed him. Hawk's empathy drew him to the woman's plight, overshadowing the clamor of the media. Just as Hawk was about to address the distressed woman's plea, an elderly couple approached him, seeking his aid in finding their missing daughter. It had been a daunting 18 months since they last saw her, marked by a bitter argument. Their eyes brimmed with hope, pinning their aspirations on Hawk's extraordinary abilities. Once, a troubled woman approached him, seeking help for her brother. Her brother had been held captive in Afghanistan for six long months as the kidnappers demanded a ransom their family could not afford. A young girl approached him with a plea to find her lost dog and bring him back home safely. A relentless barrage of questions from the press and mainstream media surrounded Hawk. They were eager to know more about his remarkable ability to track things down and how he planned to locate someone missing for five years. The villagers' discontent grew as they witnessed the press's relentless attention on Hawk, fearing it could overwhelm him. In their eyes, Diane Davis bore the brunt of the blame, and she now found herself remorseful for her actions. As a consequence, the entire village shunned her, refusing to engage in any communication or association with her. With the press and media hot on his heels, Hawk embarked on a zany quest to find the missing husband of a distressed woman. Little did he know, the guy was leading a secret life, enjoying his new home with another lady and her kids. In a desperate attempt to cover up his past, he scared his new lover into a hasty getaway. But before he could even gasp for air, Hawk and the press caught him red-handed, leaving him utterly embarrassed. On this grim day, the deadline loomed for the terrorists who had sinisterly bided their time waiting for the family to pay the ransom. Alas, the family's inability to comply would seal his fate, a gruesome execution with his head savagely severed. The terrorist whispered false reassurance, claiming his end would be painless, luring him into the lorry that would transport him to the chilling location of his demise. Unbeknown to the terrorist, Hawk swiftly intervened, halting their vehicle by gripping it and shaking it in the air. He skillfully swung the vehicle with impressive finesse without harming the kidnapped victim, the lady's brother, who could 
would not pay the ransom. True to Hawk's character, he made sure to check on the well-being of the captors, refraining from violence as he dislikes needless confrontation. Hawk always preferred to avoid a fight, but when pushed, he expertly disables his opponents without inflicting permanent harm. Once the conflict ended, Hawk tended to the wounded, showed his compassionate nature, caring for friend and foe alike, ensuring their recovery. Hawk safely escorted the kidnapped victim back to his home, relieved to have thwarted the terrorist sinister's plans. Meanwhile, Professor Olof had been observing him from afar, unbeknown to Hawk, the same enigmatic professor whom had conducted experiments on the extraordinary girl Anna Polina Mariana Koza, who possessed superhuman abilities beyond imagination. As Hawk continued on his heroic path, little did he know that his actions had caught the attention of the watchful and curious professor. In a surprising twist, down in North Carolina, an elated individual tuned in to watch Hawk's heroic deeds on TV. To everyone's astonishment, this person claimed to be Hawk's long-lost twin brother, adding an intriguing new dimension to the unfolding story. Thank you.